On this date in history, Bainte Dos, July 22nd, Mr. Reverend Spooner was born on this date in history in 1844. I like Spooner. I don't know why, just the name. But he apparently is given credit for dyslexia, that old reversing of the names, don't you know? Edward Hopper, great artist, if you ever get a chance to see his work. 1882, he was born. And George Clinton, he funk! Ow! Jump back! Hug yourself! Yeah, great funk artist, uh, born on the state in 1940 and still touring. David Spade, funny guy, eh? Yeah, 1964 he was born. Carl Sandburg died on this date in history, 1967, another fabulous American author. Today is Health and Happiness with Hypnosis Day. Okay, watch my finger closely. You're going to be healthy. You're going to be happy. You're going to hang out with Spooner. All right. <clears throat> uh, Wiley Post flew around the world solo on this date in history. I'm not smart enough to have even written that down. But it's a cool thing that he did, isn't it? And John Dillinger gunned down on this date in 1934. He was the most wanted criminal in America on that date. <laughs> Tommy gunned him right after he came out of a lovely movie. How did it end? Well, not very well. 1991, somebody looked inside of Jeffrey Dahmer's refrigerator on this date, arrested him. Cannibal.